Heads up guys, we got a new project truck, 2011 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost King Ranch truck. I just picked this truck up here this weekend. And as you can see, this is a very, very nice and clean truck. I feel like I practically stole it. Take a look on the inside. Look at these seats. They're practically perfect. Fronts and backs. Just a little bit of wear on the front seats. But for the most part, this truck is immaculate. Now when I bought it, the guy said it had, he thought, a little less than 100,000 miles. It didn't, it didn't run, didn't crank, battery's dead, it'd been sitting up for about three months. He had some problems with it. Of course, I got it home, got the battery charged, got everything working. It's got 139,000 miles on it. What we're going to be doing on this truck, we're going to be taking the engine completely out and we're going to be checking the engine and replacing most likely replacing the turbos he said he was driving it one day and it sounded like all hell broke loose and it went into limp mode he limped it back home took it to the Ford dealership and they said it needs a new engine seventeen thousand dollars worth of an engine so he said he packed it up took it to one of his buddy's shops and they cranked it up, of course, it ran like crap. And the, the guy at the shop said, well, it's got a hole in the block, so we're gonna have to put a new engine in it. Well, it was gonna be about $6,500, and they found out it had a hole in the block, and they said they wouldn't warranty the engine if he replaced it because he doesn't have a core. He wanted another thousand dollars for the car, so the guy just gave up and parked it. I picked it up, it actually cranks up and he loaded on the trailer itself, but it runs terribly and blows a lot of blue smoke. Now, I was going by what this guy said and went into this believing I'm gonna have to replace the engine. Well, I cleaned it up real good on the underside, and I'll be darned if I cannot find a hole in that block. What I did find was the driver's side turbo. Looks like it has blown the seals inside and outside. There's no cooling in the oil. So what I figure, and I won't know until I get the engine out, get the oil pan off, front cover off, I figure that the driver's side turbo went and the, the connections on the turbo were leaking, pouring oil out. There's also possibly oil coming out of the uh, one of the tubes going to the turbo. But it's also the internal seals are blown and it's sending oil into the intercooler. Like what normally happens when the seals goes out. There's probably a lot of oil in the intercooler and some of it's gone in the engine. Now hopefully, like I said we won't find out until we pull the engine. Hopefully there's no bent rods, there's no trash in the pan. And I'll be able to get away with just replacing both turbos and doing a uh, uh, timing service on it. Just go ahead and replace the guides and the timing chain. So I'm going to give you guys a heads up. This, this video is going to be on the way. And like a lot of my other videos, I'm going to video every single step for you guys. If this video takes two hours, three hours to document every little single thing, I'm going to do it. Now this is gonna to apply to the 2011 and 2012 F-150s because it is a little bit different than the 13s and 14s. But a lot of the stuff, in my experience, a lot of the stuff is pretty much the same. When you take an engine out, putting the engine back in. Uh, one difference between this one and my F-150, or my other F-150s, all the rest of mine are, are four-wheel drive. This is a two-wheel drive engine uh, truck, so 
getting the engine out is going to be a whole lot easier than it was getting it out of my 2013 F-150. So you guys stay tuned. This should be on its way in the next couple of weeks. And once I get the engine out, I will edit the videos and get it uploaded to YouTube. That way it'll help you guys in the future if you ever need to pull your engine or, or do anything. And also I'm gonna take the video, I'm gonna to try to film it where I can break down each and everything, such as removing the starter, removing the intercooler, removing the tubes, you know, just break it down so I can get multiple videos out of one large video. But I am gonna upload the one large video at one time as well, so you can watch it from start to finish. So you guys stay tuned. This is Daniel with Boss C351's Productions. Appreciate you watching my videos.